All right, we are going to, uh, to be talking about how to reinstall Windows XP. Uh, to, be, to get started, you obviously need a machine uh, and a legal copy of Windows XP. Um, legal copy means either a volume license copy or a OEM provided version. Uh, and typically when you receive a machine, there'll be a uh, authenticity sticker on the bottom of the machine. So. Um, it's very important to use a legal copy. Um, so in order to, to reinstall, um, the first thing you need to do is insert your disk into the machine, which I've already done, and let it boot to the disk. Uh, now some machines won't boot to CD by default. Uh, on those particular machines, you just have to look at the documentation on what key sequence to press to either change the BIOS so it boots first to CD or to, uh, to bring up a boot menu. Um, so with that in mind, uh, let's get started. So here we are at the first action screen of the Windows XP reinstallation. Um, so as you can see, it gives you the prompt and it's very simple. It says to set up XP now, press enter, which we want to do. Uh, so we press enter and it looks and finds our disk. Then it prompts you with an EULA agreement. Um, if you don't know what it says, it basically means don't bootleg our system. Uh, so you can press F8 to accept that. And then it, uh, it finds your disk that already has Windows on it. So in this instance, we want to do a complete reinstallation. So we're going to delete this um, by pressing D. Actually, by pressing Escape. Then we're going to press D to delete the partition. Then Enter to confirm it. And L to say, yes, we're really, really sure that we want to delete this partition. So then you see you have your unpartitioned space. Um, now, if, if you decide that you want to set up a, uh, a limited partition for your operating system and you want to have a second drive uh, that you can use for MP3 files or video files or, or just other data storage, then by all means you can press C at this point to create a new partition. But for the sake of ease, we're just going to say we're just going to use the entire partition. Um, and I would recommend using a quick file system format, which is what this is right here. You either use a quick or a non-quick. Quick will generally save you a few extra minutes. Uh, and in terms of actual setup, that's all there is to it. Uh, it will format your drive, it will copy your files, and then your system will reboot. When it reboots, it will complete the installation process, prompting you a few times, but the prompts are very self-explanatory, so um, I don't feel the need to, to cover that in this segment. Um, but if you do have questions, there are plenty of resources out there.